reproductive system is wonderfully complex, yet the signals it gives you can be quite simple, helping you identify the fertile and infertile times in your cycle. You may have noticed different types of discharge throughout your menstrual cycle. The sensation that this discharge produces at the vaginal opening, called the vulva, also changes. This is because your cervix produces different types of mucus in response to changing hormone levels. Your cycle begins with menstrual bleeding, when the lining of your uterus, called the endometrium, is shed. Following menstruation, your cervix becomes blocked by a thick plug of mucus that prevents sperm from entering the uterus. This means that you are infertile. Many women feel dry at the vulva during this time. Other women notice a pattern of discharge that feels and looks the same day after day. The number of days that you experience this unchanging pattern will determine the length of your cycle. In an average cycle, this pattern of infertility lasts for a few days. If your cycle is short, you may not experience any days of this infertile pattern. In a longer cycle, you will have more. Early in your cycle, the pituitary gland in your brain begins to secrete a hormone called follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH. FSH stimulates the growth of a group of follicles in your ovaries. Each follicle contains an egg and a bundle of surrounding cells that secrete the hormone oestrogen. Oestrogen activates the cervix to produce the mucus essential for fertility. This is the start of the fertile phase. The fertile phase, shown here using a baby symbol, begins a few days before ovulation. One type of mucus produced by the cervix dissolves the plug which means sperm can now enter the uterus. Another type of mucus filters out damaged sperm cells. Yet another type nourishes the sperm, so they can live for up to five days in your reproductive system. It forms channels which help the sperm travel through your reproductive system to meet and fertilize the egg. You become aware of your developing fertility by the changes in the mucus that you feel and see at the vulva. You will notice that you feel increasingly wet and then slippery, and you may see mucus that becomes thinner and clearer. The last day of the slippery feeling is called the peak of fertility. It is very close to the time of ovulation. As one follicle nears maturity, the pituitary gland is stimulated to release a surge of another hormone called luteinizing hormone, or LH. LH triggers ovulation the release of the egg from its follicle. The egg is swept up into the fallopian tube, ready to begin its journey towards the uterus. If fertilization doesn't occur, the egg will die within a day of ovulation. But if the egg meets any sperm along the way, fertilization can take place. After ovulation, the empty follicle is transformed into the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum produces a hormone called progesterone. Progesterone prepares the endometrium in case there's a fertilized egg ready to implant. It also causes the mucus to thicken and the plug to begin forming in the cervix again. The day following the peak, you'll no longer feel wet or slippery at the vulva. By the end of three days after the peak, your fertility for this cycle is over. About two weeks after ovulation, a new cycle begins. We can now see how essential cervical mucus is for fertility. Once you're familiar with your patterns, you'll be able to identify your fertile and infertile times. This knowledge can help you to achieve or avoid pregnancy.